Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a quick makeup look. Um, it's honestly really for that person who's in a rush, um, um, whether you're a mom, a businesswoman. I know for me, I am like corporate businesswoman by week, so I have a normal 9 to 5 job. So oftentimes I do my makeup in the parking deck of my work. No shame. But I, I wanted women to realize that, you know, if you want to wear makeup and you don't have a lot of time, it's okay. You can still, you know, get a nice look without having to spend an hour. So yeah, that's what today's video is going to be all about. As you can see, I'm totally barefaced. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to see other videos, then go ahead and comment below. Alright, so starting off, I have already prepped my skin. If you are interested in how I prep my skin and the skincare routine that I follow, I'll go ahead and put a link right here in the bottom of the frame. So go ahead and click there if you're interested in how I prep my skin. I don't actually include that as being a part of doing your makeup. Um, so starting off, what I'm going to do is go ahead and prime my skin. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. And what I love about this is it's mattifying, but it's not drying. And then it's also going to really smooth out the skin. And don't laugh at me because I have a bigger container of it, but I couldn't find it. And I'm not going to hold it up close to the camera because I need to get my nails done. So I'm going to kind of do a mixture of rubbing and patting just in that T-zone area that tends to get maybe a little more oily. It needs some smoothing out. Then I'm going to take some concealer and this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I've got light neutral and what I'm going to do is actually take this just a couple dots underneath my eyes and then for some reason I've been breaking out so I'm just going to put two little dots there where I'm breaking out and then underneath my eyes as well. Typically if I was doing like a really glam look and I had a lot of time I would do a lighter concealer underneath my eyes but you don't have time for that. So I'm using my fingers and I'm kind of rubbing and patting. And what I love about this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is it's really full coverage. Like if you have a huge breakout, you can definitely use this. And I also put a little on my eyelids to kind of neutralize that. Now once that's completely blended out and you've kind of covered up your imperfections or what you feel like are your imperfections, so blemishes, hyperpigmentation, under eye circles, um, redness. Um, the concealer is not to go all over your face. It's just to conceal those tiny little spots that might be exposed. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is take a powder foundation. If you have dry skin and powder foundation just doesn't work well with your skin, I recommend doing like some type of CC or BB cream. Um, especially I love the IT Cosmetics CC cream because it's full coverage and it's super hydrating and it goes on really, really smooth. So sometimes in the winter time, I'll actually do this on top of that. Um, but I have been so adamant about my skincare routine that my skin is super hydrated, so I can really use whatever I want. So today I'm going to be using the Cover Effects. It's called Pressed Mineral Foundation, and I am the color G20, if you're curious. It's, it's the dead of winter, so. Normally I'm like G30-ish, but, you know, wintertime sucks, but. It comes with a little pad. I'm not a huge fan of the pad, but... It's a little too soft. I don't feel like it picks up the powder enough, but whatever. I'm just going to rub that in there. I like to start in the T-zone. I don't go under my eyes with it too much. But you basically are just dipping back in to build up that coverage. This is actually much harder when you're having to like talk through it. Yeah, and what I love about the powder is it feels really lightweight on the skin but it still covers like this one in particular I love because you can build it up and you can do anywhere from sheer to like I honestly they say full coverage but I don't agree that it's full coverage I would say that it's more sheer to like upper medium coverage but yeah so that's pretty much it there you can already tell that it's like even my skin tone out a lot I used to use the MAC Studio Fix but for some reason it gets a lot oilier on me. What I like about this one is it's honestly better for your skin and I feel like it controls oils a little more. And they have more more colors, I think. So after I've done that, um, I do the Hoola Bronzer. And the biggest reason I do the Hoola Bronzer is because it actually comes with a brush. So 
I basically take this brush, tap it in there, tap off any excess, get right there in the contours of my cheek, and then I blend it down onto my apples too because I don't do any other steps here. So I kind of use the bronzer as like a contour, a bronzer, I do it on my nose, just to give me color in general because like I said, it's the dead of winter. Your girl is definitely Caucasian. I feel like this angle makes my forehead look bigger. And notice I am taking my brush and I'm blending down. For those of you who are like me and have a big forehead, this is really helpful. And I especially like to like bronze up the nose a little bit because it makes me feel like I got a little tan going on. All right, so once you've done that and you've given yourself a little bit of color, um, you can skip this next step, but I'm obsessed with highlighter, so it's honestly a necessity for me, but it's I don't feel like it's a necessity for everybody. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop Flexitarian. I just bought this last night and I'm already obsessed, and I'm going to actually use my fingers and kind of just press that onto the tops of my cheek. <laughs> Y'all see that? See, that's why I'm obsessed with this. And I'm gonna use a patting motion because it kind of warms it up. I'm not gonna do it on the tip of my nose because that highlighting trend is over. I'm just gonna do it on the bridge of my nose. Keep in mind when you're doing this at home, you're not actually having to talk people through it, so it's probably gonna be a lot quicker. Um, but basically the next thing that I do, um, anytime I do this look and I do a powder foundation, it gets stuck in my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I love this because it kind of helps with making your brows look a little fuller, but it also, you know, holds them down. So it's like a one-stop shop. And a little trick, if you have sparse brows, go against the grain of the hair and it'll actually make your brows look fuller. See the difference? Boom. The next thing that I do is um, mascara. Well, I normally don't use this mascara, but today I'm gonna be using the Benefit Their Real Mascara as well as the Urban Decay uh, Perversion or Subversion Lash Primer. Um, lash Primer, again, is not a necessity. If you're really in a crunch for time, just skip that step. For me, it makes a big enough difference that I use it. So it's like a white mascara, but it's moisturizing. It thickens up the lashes. And um, to me, it makes your mascara last longer too, which I guess is ultimately what a primer does anyways. Um, so what I do is kind of comb it through, but I give it a good wiggle too, like really work it into the root. I'm going to go ahead and do my lipstick. Today I'm going to be using the Inglot, I think they call it the Liquid HD Lip Tint Matte number 27. Why I love this color is because it's dark but it's not too dark and you don't need a lip liner. It lasts forever and it goes on really really smoothly. smoothly. It's very liquidy. Is that a word? Liquidy? Fluid. Mm. It's very fluid. So that's why I love it. Um, it's going to be kind of hard for me to do this while I'm on camera, but we'll try. So I kind of just start in the middle of my lip. Work it out, and then I line them. So a lot of these lipsticks, like where you put them is where they stay. So liquid lipsticks, you want to make sure you're paying attention to how you're lining your lips so that you don't make a mess. Then I go... To press some of it up to the top then I'm gonna line them okay we're all done now I'm gonna do my mascara now the key to mascara that nobody does everybody wants to sit there and just kind of comb I like to get a hold of my lashes get at the root and give it a good wiggle Honestly, don't worry about getting it on your eyelids. If people are looking at your eyelids like that, then they need to back up. Ooh. I'm not a huge fan of this mascara, to be completely honest with you guys. I feel like it's just really clumpy. But, oh well. Surprisingly, I like the Too Faced better than Sex a little bit more. 
I mean, it still looks good. It's just like stupid clumpy. Whatever. I do the bottom lashes because I feel like when you do the bottom lashes, it really opens up your eyes. Okay, I went and got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of it, but this particular one has almost dried out. So I feel like it does better. You don't have to do this, but that Benefit There Real has made my lashes so freaking clumpy. Anybody who knows me, if my eyelashes don't look right, I'm in like an awful mood all day. I feel like this just goes to show how important it is to find a mascara that works for you. Because, like, do y'all? Do you see that clumpy nonsense? That is awful. Oh, well. There's no fixing it at this point. All right. That is the end of this video. Um, as you can see, it didn't take me any time. It was super quick. I didn't even use any brushes. I used products that came with brushes, but I didn't use any, you know, large brushes like this and it took me two seconds and a couple of things that to me stick out is lipstick um i feel like when i have lipstick and mascara on at very least that dresses it up already but then just taking the time to kind of even up your skin tone really quickly um really helps to balance the look um if you're a mom, if you're a businesswoman, if you're just in general someone who just doesn't have a lot of time, then this is a really good look for you. It took me like no time at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're enjoying my video so, videos so far, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try and put a video out every week. I missed last week's, don't judge. But um, yeah, let me know how you like these. Share them with your friends. Um, especially your friends who are like, I don't have enough time to do my makeup. Definitely share this video with them because it's super easy. Thanks for watching.